take uh, the piston or uh, yeah, this knots, these two knots off. Um, they're pretty uh, difficult to take them out, uh, but I managed to take them out. So um, as you can see, it uh, now come uh, loose and. Um, yeah, that's how, uh, you know, these things were put together for the, um, for the piston, you know, I think these are little, these little pins will have to go back in, um, I think there's mark is supposed to tie to um, it is tied to this but anyway the piston is off now um, you know I dipped it in the solution for God two three days that gunk thing I don't think these were removed as well as they uh, claim, you know, but again, you know, as you can see, I don't know, I may need to use some brush, you know, to take them off, but, uh, at least the piston is, uh, now off, and I can take it to the machine shop, um, and have them work on this, um, you know, so the piston is off. I just need to continue to work on these two knots, uh, the four knots. Uh, but let me count how many, um, so this is the, uh, the thing that, you know, and the thing is, I think this is a grove here that I'm supposed to line up or something. Anyway, so these are the little pins um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I, was, I should have 16 of them on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 16 of them. Um, and they, you know, go like this to, um, to, uh, to, uh, you know, to, um, you know, run into this thing, you know, so, that's my piston number two, so I'm going to keep these, get a bag, keep these together, and uh, continue my uh, disassembling of the um, piston, so I'm going to continue to take uh, this guy, this piston, off, and that piston off. Mm. So I got two bolts here, one here, one here, and then uh, one over there. The interesting thing about this is you know, the way uh, the three crank shift line up. You know, so this way, this one is this way, that one is that way, and the other one is the other way. You know, but anyhow, so I'm going to continue and take these two off. Okay, so let me get a different glove because this one just broke. Now I can lift this piston out of the crankshaft, as you can see, you know, um, 
I, I soaked it in the gunk, um, you know, over a day, and I don't see the carbon got, um, you know, um, so I guess I'm going to have to degunk or decarve this thing a little bit more. Uh, to make it look like shiny and everything, um, you know, and the piston does look like a little bit of uh, growth. I can feel like here, you know, a little bit of uh, cutting into the the piston, um, you know, and it's pretty. Uh, nasty like here you can see these carbon build up over the ears so i'm gonna rebuild this and take it into the machine shop um you know um but in any case this is the bottom piston um you know and um and this is um the two pieces of pins with um, these bearings, uh, they're pretty nasty too. Uh, with the carbon buildup, I don't know if I can reuse these or by decon kingdom, by you know, uh, or I have to get new ones. We will have to see, but uh, it's a success. Be able to um, get her off the crankshaft. So now I just only have one, the top piston to. Um, disconnect or loosen these two knots one on this side the other uh, one on the other side so you know as soon as I uh, get rid of um, you know loosen these knots I'll be able to uh, loosen the first one okay so we are going to Pretty uh, tough to loosen this these two knots, um, you know. The problem is the crankshaft is not um, is 
not fixed onto anything. And uh, that's why it's so hard to loosen this knot. I see on the, um, in the shop, they will probably uh, grab hold of this end and grab hold of this end. So put these two in some kind of uh, thing so they don't move. So they can unloose these two screws or these six screws. Uh, but for me, I'm just doing the rat neck away because I don't have those machines. You know, um, for those of you who are watching, let me know if you have any suggestion. But this is my uh, way of trying to unloose, unscrew these two knots from the crankshaft. Ah. You know, as you can see, how difficult it is because because I just don't have the good foothold to to apply my pressure. Ah, listen, yes, yes, okay. There you go. You see, it came loose. Just don't give up. And uh, you will get it. But as you can see, I hope by me stepping up on the piston in the crankshaft is not going to break the piston in the crankshaft. So this knot is almost loose. I'm just going to flip this thing around and try to get to the other uh, side of the nuts and try to do the same thing. Uh, before I totally unscrew this knot. Alright, so now the moment of truth for this guy here. Alright, so as you can see, it's trying to. These two knots are the 3 8 Oh, yes! This one is much easier to deal with, and I just uns, you know, loosened it. You know? I can't believe how uh, difficult these two knots are giving me. And that's why they're called knots, because they're stubborn. You know. So glad. Alright, so this one is almost loosened. Oops. Alright. Yeah. Now I can take it to the machine shop and have them bore these two cylinders and try to buy bigger rings for these two pistons, or this is the top, so the, the bottom pistons. Um, anyhow, so almost loose. Alright, so I'm going to do the same thing here. And then I can use my fingers now. You know, and uh, there we go, came loose. So this is the top piston, you know, and uh, this thing just came loose. That bottom bearing just, you know, fell off the uh, crankshaft. Yes, success. You know, these two pins, I have to put them back, you know, so now I can take the crankshaft and, uh, um, uh, and the entire thing into the shop and uh, have them hung and uh, do whatever they need to do. Oh, I break this gloves too.